Hey guys, uh, so what we're going to be talking about today is um, a method that I like to use, or that I I just found out like last month, uh, about seven strings. So I've always wanted a seven string to kind of play metal and stuff, but I, you know, I don't, I didn't want to spend like seven to eight hundred bucks. So I just used this... Um, Flank V that I already had. It's a Stag F300 knockoff. Uh, <clears throat> and so basically, I had, um, I had the, I got the second hand, right? So I got the strings. They were just junk, and I, I played with them. Um, but the low E eventually broke from me just jamming out so hard. And the, like the low E, but like, I, I was <laughs> the strings are the strings were crap basically, so I, I think they were the stock ones. But I switched them out, or I, I didn't switch them out. I switched only the first uh, the low E because that's the only one I broke. I just broke the low E. So <clears throat> yeah, I switched those out, and I asked because the strings were like thick too, like they were really thick, and I found out that they're they were probably like tens or elevens or something originally on there, but I asked for a 12, because I thought, you know, one extra thick, it's, it's the low E string, so, yeah, they gave me, the guy came out with a, a 13 for the high E, and he's like, here you go, and I'm like, oh, no, I said the low E, and he's like, okay, uh, and he was like, well, this is, like, or before he said that, he was like, okay, this is the only, like, the higher, the thicker gauge strings that we have for the high E, and I was like, okay, low E, please. <laughs> so he exchanged it, and he gave me a third, or, yeah, he gave me a 13 for the low E. <clears throat> so I was there. I, I'm surprised that these, so this came with, like, the world's cheapest, crappiest plastic tuners, and I'm surprised that they are still working. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, with higher gauge strings, they still work. Uh, like pretty much perfectly, which kind of surprised me, but yeah, so he gave me the, uh, the 13 and I was, I tuned it up and it was just so hard to play and didn't match up with all the other strings. It had such a bigger output and stuff. So I started using this guitar for drop tuning since I figured that the, uh, the low E was going to be better for that. So I did and the low E was so perfect. It felt like super good to play it like that. But all the other ones were just crap. They were so flimsy and they were dirty and nasty. So what I decided to do was, I wanted to play a seven string, right? But I only had a six string. So what I did was I got some just standard, you know, Diodario tens. And I tuned the low E to a drop B, just like a seven string would be. And then I slapped on the the um, the Diodario strings onto the so I put the E the E string in the A slot. I put the A slot in the D slot, the D slot in the G slot, the G slot or the G the G string in the B slot, and the B string in the E spot. So it's basically tuned. So this is. It's a six string, but it's, it would be, it's, okay, it's, let's just say it's a seven string, but without the E, like the high E, it's just cut off. So it's, a, it's a six string, but B, B. So yeah, they're both, this is a B, high B, and then, yeah. So you could play this perfectly like a normal guitar too, like a normal six string. So... So yeah, it works perfectly if you know how to mute the low B string, but if you want to go uh, drop B and play some metal,
so yeah so the only downside to this is if you if you don't play metal you just want that low b string for the added like for the for the just for the extra string just to have a low b so if you're playing in like standard e tuning maybe you're playing like jazz or something and then you want to get lower then this probably isn't so good for you because you don't have that high e but if you're okay with that and if you're like a rhythm guitar rhythm metal player then this would be perfect for you uh because you know you get the, all that seven string stuff that you want but in a six string also the neck would be the neck is just like a six string uh and yeah so that's pretty much it um now i'm just going to talk about the guitar for a minute because this thing is i i'm surprised because this thing is crazy it holds it can stand up to a lot so I haven't reviewed this guitar or even talked about it that much, but yeah, it's the Stag Flying V Gothic. Uh, I think it's the special edition too, because it's got these cool looking inlays that the, the normal one just has the dots, but I think this one is like the special or something, I don't know. But yeah, the tuners, if you can take a good look at these, these are total crap. Pieces of junk. And you can, you can see on that, uh, on all these tuners, they have like the white little rings here, but this one, it fell off. So it's kind of, it feels like junk. All of them feel like junk. They're just plastic. And they're so cheap, but I'm so surprised because it holds up to like all these strings. And I was like, they've been working perfectly so far. So good job on that stag, I guess. But yeah. Also, the action on this thing is pretty high. I don't know if you can see that. Try to get it. I don't know, but it's it's pretty high because I put the other strings on there. And this is a bolt-on. And I was surprised that the neck didn't, like, the neck is perfect. Like, it's still perfectly in place. Maybe it bent a little bit, but that's fine. And, uh, yeah. So this guitar can hold up can stand up to a lot, but it's harder to find. They, I think they discontinued it. So if you're going to look for one of these things, then you better go online and go on Kijiji or something like that. And you might not find the uh, the special edition that well either. Or it's going to be harder to find, but yeah. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.